Hello ladies and gents, now in this video we're going to be looking at how we can look at the resources teachers might share uh, with you. So uh, this is um, the page that we were on previously, I just want to go back to the classroom itself, the home page, the stream page there it is. And uh, sometimes your teachers might actually share uh, materials, resources, things that you can revise from. So you can see here, I've got one, I'm going to click on this. And I've just been given, there's nothing there for me to do. So I'm not actually sending anything to the teacher back. I'm not giving them a response or anything like that. This is just teachers sharing with you, uh, maybe a revision guide, uh, a brainstorm at, uh, um, sheet, so maybe um, some keywords, uh, a PowerPoint that they used in a lesson. It could be anything. So that's why there's nothing here uh, that allows me to send something back to the teacher. There's no submit button. Um, so... What teachers would typically do is obviously they give a sensible title so you know what this is about. So in this case, you can see this exam revision material and there's a little notice there that tells you why. So very important, please open and read through the top tips of identifying the attached files. And as you can see, these are two examples of two different file types. We've got Google Slides and Google Docs. Now, it could be a PDF, it could be a video, it could be a sound file, it doesn't make a difference. So when you see this, take heed Listen to your teacher. They're trying to help you as best as they can. Uh, so use what they give you. Yeah, use everything they can uh, that, that you can, because it will help uh, improve and develop your knowledge further. So let me just show you how this looks. If I open the first revision sheet here, it opens up in a new tab. Um, while this loads, I'm going to open the second one. So I may as well save some time. And as I said, you'll see the revision sheets here so it's nothing for me to type on now of course if i wanted to copy and paste some of this stuff and create my own document somewhere you're more than welcome to do so you can open it up uh, and um say if you wanted to open word a word document or a um a powerpoint of your own you can just um copy and paste what you want from there so for example you can just select it and copy out what you want or what you think will be more suited to you. So you can create your own revision resources. As you can see, I can scroll down here. Now, the, because this was sent to me for me to make reference to, I can't make changes to this. And in fact, you can see here, I have to request request edit access. So as it stands, this is just for me to look at. Now, if it's a Word document like this, a Google Doc, you'll sometimes find a little, um, almost like a contents list here. So if I click on this, it'll go straight down to the evaluation section. If I click there, it goes straight down to there. So notice uh, that you may have some uh, helpful uh, menus on the left-hand side to help navigate around this particular document. Now, we go to this one here. This is an example of um, another uh, revision uh, resource or material that might be given. So this was um, a, um, a material that I, a resource that I created for a year 11 class that did a uh, IT uh, course a couple of years ago and it's just simply there just to remind students some of the top things uh, items they must remember and recall in the exam that they were going to go through um, sharing certain websites that will um, guide them through even further and again similar thing I can't make any changes here but I can highlight and copy certain items should I wish to do so um, now, in case you want to open up your own uh, uh, documents and copy and paste only s you know, select items, there's two ways you can do that. If you go back over here and open your apps, you can go straight to your drive or you can click on Docs or Slides. And when you go onto these two, this is probably the quickest way really, um, when you open it, it just opens up a blank document. So if I click on that, you'll see it opens up a, uh, a blank document and I can just copy and paste what I want and then, uh, sorry, you have to choose the style that you want. So obviously blank is probably the best one to go for unless of course you want to play around with the gallery and go down and find something suitable to you, something that uh, you're happy with. You're more than welcome to go down and search uh, for, your, you know, to, for your heart's content. But um, I'd keep it simple. Uh, come here and as I said, just find what you want and you can just take out the key things that are most uh, relevant to you and paste it in. Like so. Okay, so that's how you find resources that teachers share with you. Um, as I said, I cannot stress this enough. Please trust your teachers. Anything they give you is there to help you. Um, so yeah, good luck on that.